Yo, what is going on guys? It is Rain here, back yet again for a brand new Booga Booga video, and as you guys all know, Booga Lands is coming out soon. It's a new game that Soybean has been working on. Well, he hasn't like been working on it yet, he just started, but he got the ideas all listed out in a stream today, and basically I'm going to go over some of these ideas that he have and tell you guys what to expect for this new game that's coming out, Booga Lands. I'm pretty hyped for it. Take you by surprise. But yeah, if you don't know, he's actually stopping updates on the original Booga Booga, and he's just going to be working on this new one. Now, if I were him, I'd like hire some dude to continue on Booga Booga, because it does have a fan base, a really large one actually. Even though it's not as big as it used to be, not nearly as big, it still has a fan base, so Soybean dude, you should really just hire somebody to continue off of the game while you work on Booga Lands. That would be like your best option here. Anyways, the first thing that's going to be coming into the game is Daily Quests. So it's probably going to work something like Jailbreak or like Mining Simulator or all these games that have these daily quests. It's just like an incentive to keep playing the game every single day. So that's going to be pretty awesome. Like that will give people motivation to keep on playing the game. Now the next thing is a town with NPCs and vendors. So we're actually going to have NPCs in the game. We didn't really have any in like the original Booga Booga. But we're going to have like people I guess that talk to you and sell stuff. I, I don't know how it's going to work. Just like shops and stuff. If you guys ever played Sword Burst 2, it's probably going to be something similar to that. Now, apparently, there's also going to be basic and premium currency, so that's like money in the game. So, you know how there used to be like Robux and Ticks? Like, basic would probably be something like Ticks, and premium would be something like Robux. Place to put money into to show clout, such as a base. Now, I'm not entirely sure what he means by that. Do you just put like money on the walls or something and like show everybody how much you got? I have no idea. The next one is PvE mentality. I'm not sure what he means by PvP mentality either. I think it's probably just like how the PvE members like or people like interact with the community or something like that. I have no idea. Realms from lowest level in loot to the highest most unforgiving. So there's definitely going to be some realms in this game like harder places. Like you know how in Sword Burst 2 there was like, I believe there was like seven things or maybe there's more now i don't know i haven't played it in forever but each one is gets a little bit more difficult so it's probably going to be something like that this game's going to be really fun but i just don't see it lasting forever like sword burst 2 was fun at first it went on front page but after a while it slowly fell down and now it's only chilling with like 1k players so i don't know how good this is actually going to do a day night cycle and intro sequence for each realm okay that, that's not too important leave for realms as groups can join friends if they are in realm so it is confirmed guys you can actually like do co-op with all your friends and stuff so that's gonna be pretty fun like all your friends just gang up on a bunch of monsters that's awesome pets so there's gonna be pets in the game like any other generic roblox game they always have pets i don't know why i guess it's just like a thing people like but for me pets are kind of just annoying they're just like little things that follow you around and they're kind of pointless they don't do much but if he actually made it where the pets like helped you fight and gave you like a boost of some sort, that'd be way cooler. Okay, so this is pretty interesting. When you join, the world will greet you and feel like a friend. When you are released, it will feel like that friend has gone away. Okay, so that's kind of weird there, dude. Like, apparently, I think he's talking about like the tutorial treating you well or something like that. And then afterwards, it just throws everything at you. It doesn't help you at all. But that, that actually sounds pretty cool. <laughs> like... It definitely seems like it's going to have a little bit of difficulty to it, but hopefully it's not too difficult, because if it's too difficult, like Booga Booga, it's going to drive the majority of the kid audience away. World refreshes every so many nights. So if you guys don't know, the world's actually going to be randomly generated or something. I believe that's what he said in his stream. So every time you join the game, every new server, it's going to be a little bit different. So that's going to be pretty awesome. Like, I don't think there's any game on Roblox that actually randomly generates a world like that, especially in RPG. Underwater swimming exploration mechanic. So there's definitely going to be some like underwater caves in the game. Um, that's going to be pretty cool. Like explore, find some treasure underneath somewhere. I don't know, but it's going to be pretty cool. Maybe there's going to be some creatures that live under the water too. So that, that's actually really spooky. Then he says here in the what I would like tab, stockpile that you can collect and return to daily sessions. Trading items with players. So there's going to be trading in the game mostly. This is what he says he would like. It's not 100% confirmed. Bag stays constant long term progression. Realms offer up to a certain one. Lower realms better for noobs. Okay. Crafting back home for recipes to be able to use them in sessions. All right. And then you get to the more interesting stuff. So we have a bunch of materials that are in the game well that are going to be coming into the game so we got wood stone copper iron steel adorite emerald diamond ruby titanium blue steel platinum jade obsidian quartz moonstone meteor 
bronze onyx and gold so all these will a, a good portion of them are not even from booga like they're not in booga yet well they probably won't ever be considering he's not doing another update but this is gonna be cool we have a ton of materials beyond booga booga i don't even think big booga dig have this many materials either and then we're gonna go to my favorite category over here the creatures that are gonna be into the game so we're gonna have barbarians the only barbarians in booga were the ones that were frozen in the ice so they're gonna be making a return ants everybody knows those they're gonna be making a return shellies of course barbarian tribes on the map i'm not even sure what that means i think it's like just like a camp full of barbarians or something there's gonna be bantos lurky boys so lurky boys are actually probably gonna attack you like again in this game i remember how annoying they are in booga but i guess we're gonna see them again peepers and then this is where it gets really interesting living trees so we're gonna have trees in the game that are actually alive and like attack you maybe i don't even know maybe they don't attack you or anything but if they do that actually be pretty funny imagine getting like just killed by a tree out of everything in the game a tree a wolf okay so we're gonna get a wolf in booga lands that's pretty cool like could we get that as a pet tame it or something and like have it attack players that'd be awesome fish so there's gonna be fish in the game you know the lurky boys they need some food all right we're gonna get spirits in booga land so if you guys remember the lost soul and the forgotten soul those are probably gonna make a return we're apparently gonna get hogs in the game okay those are new pirates now i remember a long time ago he said in booga booga he's gonna add like pirate raiders or something like that but he never did so hopefully they do come out into this game we're gonna get rats buffalo penguin giant and sea jelly okay oh and cows i missed that one but otherwise that's pretty much it for what's coming into booga lands that's everything he listed on his stream and stuff but i want to tell you guys one more thing okay if you guys don't know i actually have my own discord server and we're doing like art contests every single week so if you're an artist and want to try to win you can actually win some robux by drawing some art with the theme like these were last week's winners so all you got to do is join my discord server link will be in the description below and contact the moderator like draw some art right some fan art of like me or something like that in booga booga and send it to one of the server moderators and they'll actually rank you up to the artist role and you can become part of the the competition and try to win some robux here and if you guys don't win the first time you can keep on trying because we're doing these every single week and it's gonna be pretty fun but i also do like other competitions besides that that can earn you some robux like last week i did an invite contest where you invited people to the server and you win some robux that way and i'm also doing another one where i select a random person every single week to win a prize of a thousand robux so there's definitely a lot of robux opportunities so if you guys do want to join this come here come chill meet some people you know it's pretty fun but anyways thank you guys so much for watching the video i hope you guys did enjoy and i will see you guys later peace out